please make sure you're doing this from a computer. It will not work from a mobile device or your iPad. So through ClassLink in the portal, go to Google Student Email and click on that tile to open your Gmail. Then you're going to go look in your inbox to the most recent little SIS premium email. Um, it probably is subject line, you have SIS rosters to review on little sis premium. So you're going to open that email. Then you're going to click on go to little SIS premium. So once you are in the teacher review, on the left hand side you're going to see all of your classes that are coming straight from frontline teams. This will include any uh, class periods and any sections. On the right are existing classes in your Google Classroom. Uh, this teacher has first period biology has two different sections so what we need to do is merge the sections that are in the same class period so that instead of this teacher getting 12 separate Google Classroom classes they'll get instead one Google Classroom class per class period so to merge the classes you're going to click on one of the cards and drag it on top of the class that it needs to merge with card. So T1 is period one biology. So I'm going to drag and drop on top of the matching T1 biology. Notice that it says two classes are merged and it's got a pin next to it. On the right hand side, once we sync student rosters, the student email addresses and student names will show up on the right hand side. So we're going to click done on the right and then we're going to go find our next two matching classes to merge them. So T3, period three biology and period three biology, we're gonna drag and drop. Again, two classes merged, the pin is at the top. We're gonna click done on the right and then we're gonna merge again. Fourth period biology with fourth period biology, drag and drop. So now instead of 12 classes, it's gonna create six. So next we have to schedule each one of these. So we're going to click schedule, 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 schedule. And now all of our actions are scheduled on the right to create these classes. And I can either individually click accept on each one of these or click finish six scheduled actions. And then these six Google Classroom classes will get created. So I'm going to click finish six scheduled actions. And then now if I go back to Gmail and then go click on the classroom tile, now six Google Classroom classes will have been created. When the rosters get merged, all the students will automatically appear in each of these Google Classrooms. And then throughout the year, as students um, add or drop the class or come into the district and leave the district, they'll get automatically added to the correct Google Classroom each time. When you log in, if you do not have to merge any of your classes, you're going to just click the accept button at the bottom of the individual class card. If you have existing Google Classroom classes that you need to merge with a little SIS section, you're going to hover on top of the blue card on the left underneath the assigned classes, and then you will drag it and drop it on top of the matching class on the right, the green card, for that Google Classroom. And then click Done for the roster, and then do it again. Once you've merged those classes on the right, you'll notice there's a push pin at the top, and there is an option to click the Schedule button at the bottom of that card. You'll click the Scheduled button for each card that says Scheduled, and then click on the Scheduled Actions tab at the top. And then click the Finished Scheduled Actions button at the top. This will then complete the merges and create any new Google Classroom classes or merge the assigned classes with your existing Google Classroom classes. The names of the courses um, are set, pulled from T1 
teams, but they can be renamed. So if I did want to rename this, I can click on um, the three dots on that classroom card and click edit, and I can go in and rename the class if needed. And that is it. You may notice you may get emails from Little Sis once um, rosters get synced, you'll probably get an email and you'll probably also get emails if uh, class periods ever change throughout the year. This is only syncing the first semester courses, so for the spring semester we will have to do this process again. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.